You called to seek my counsel. I wouldn't say it exactly like that. No, no, no. You were hoping I had some wild theory, some sort of penetrating insight that would lead us to a breakthrough. Well, do you? What was so special about our victim that our killer wanted to erase his identity? Don't say spy. Or mob hit. Mob hit of a spy? Crazy theories aren't gonna help. I was kinda hoping that you might be able to help me with a crazy theory. There's your killer right there. Don't you see? Will made a deal with the devil. The contract was up, so it was time to pay. The devil came and got his due. All right, then how do you explain what we just saw back there? Easy. Will didn't close the door all the way when he came back in. Our window was open, the killer came through it, and this huge gust of wind forced the door open and then shut when they left. But Esposito said all the windows were locked from the inside. Our killer's a pro. He knows how to reset interior locks. Except Will lives on the 19th floor with no fire escape. Come on, Castle. You know that there are plenty of ways to access windows on high-level floors without a fire escape. Yes, if you're Spider-Man. Our killer's not Spider-Man. Agreed, because it's the devil. The only place that we're going to find the devil in this case is in the details. Once we find out more about Will's life, then we will uncover who his birthbound enemy is. What was that? That was him. The invisible man is real. Yeah, well, whatever it, that, whatever it was, it just ran off with the only lead we have. No, it ran off with my credit card. I managed to hang on to the key card. You don't think he's still here, do you? Okay, fine. I admit, it is weird. But I can tell you this. Whatever Talmadge saw or didn't see, it wasn't the devil. You're right. Probably one of his minions. A lowly demon that will summon from Beals above to help him get whatever it was he wanted from Talmadge. Demons don't need help getting past security systems, and the devil doesn't need to use the door. Detective, no one's been in or out of this room since you checked that box in this morning. So what'd it do? Just walk out on its own? No. It didn't walk out on its own. Beckett, you were right. The killer isn't the devil. The devil doesn't need to dispose of evidence. Clearly. Clearly is the perfect word, because clearly our killer is the invisible man. It was like suddenly I walked through a doorway where I knew everyone, but everything was different. My wife was married to another man. I came back home and my parents didn't recognize me. They didn't know me. Because I know what's going on. I know why I'm here. It's this. Swiss archaeological team discovers ancient Incan artifacts? Not just any artifact. Given its markings, some mystics believe that it's connected to the Incan gateway to the gods, a doorway through which shamans were known to travel into other realms. Dad, I was joking. Please don't tell me you believe this. Alexis, I was holding this. And right at that moment, as the grenade was rolling between us, I was thinking maybe I wasn't good for her. Maybe Becca would be happier if we had never met. That's what changed. That's where I am in a world where we never met. It's like the last six years didn't happen. Who, who's Beckett? Exactly, you don't know who she is because she and I never met. So I didn't write Nikki Heath. I wrote that god awful piece of trash instead. And with less money coming in, you were forced to go out and be successful. I found success because of my boundless talent. And somehow we drifted apart. Somehow? I'm not crazy. This is not my world. I need to get back home. How do you intend to do that? By helping this world's Beckett find that artifact so I can get back to my reality. Possibility number one is the password for a murderous underground snake handling fight club. Granted, that's probably not what it means, but it might be the basis for my next Nikki Heat novel. Possibility number two, she was killed by the Marvel character Diamondback, whose special skill was throwing diamond-shaped spikes filled with poison. Third possibility, it was a dude ranch in Arizona. 